Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon The Golden Sea. In our previous session, we had our, uh, our adventurers take a little detour. Instead of going straight to the next trial, they stopped at this place uh, called the Cyan Ice Caps. And they uh, ran into some uh, a few new faces, one being an injured Blaziken named Zenith, um, who had been rescued by another newcomer. Roosevelt the Toucanon, who came all the way from another region and a whole other campaign, uh, played by our wonderful voice president himself, Adam. And then uh, the party ended up meeting up with them, and uh, Roosevelt uh, joined the three of them investigating some shady people uh, in the caves um, nearby. And they ran into members of the Abyssal Cult. And so, while the party was going up against Ryu, uh, a uh, previously Zigzagoon, now fully evolved into an Obstagoon that they had fought in the first session, Roosevelt proceeded to mop the floor with the rest of the, the team in the caves, and then went deeper in, and they encountered that they found out that the Abyssal Cult had allied themselves with the mythical Pokemon Manaphy and its Fionn underlings, servants, I guess. And an intense battle, an intense and long battle ensued and ended with the Manaphy um, calling in another Manaphy known, uh, named Aquamarine to assist it. However, instead, Aquamarine simply just teleported its uh, uh, the Manaphy feet and the three Fionn and itself away and gave the party as an apology the Iceum Z uh, Z crystal and now the party is currently just winding down and trying to just recover from what just happened and with that um, we bring ourselves back to uh, Cyan Village and uh, we'll say that you guys have fully rested, and with Roosevelt's funky little Mew aura, he was able to heal you of all of your injuries, so you guys are back to full, back to your prime, and you guys can um, do whatever you want here for the time being, if you want to check out the shop, if you want to train a bit more, or if you want to... We have not to... received more money. We are not going to the shop. <laughs> unless there is, I think, one thing you're considering buying afterwards. Yeah. Uh, unless, we'll see. Yeah. For all um, of us, but, yeah. You can also just discuss with uh, Roosevelt, Zenith, or Saber, the mayor, just to, with what happened earlier. The choice is yours. Um. Actually, wait. Before we do that, uh, does all, all three of you guys want to do something? Because if that's the case, we're gonna roll initiative. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I wanted to do something. I wonder what. Hang on, this is just a D20, right? Yep. Oh. D20 plus your acrobatics rank. Oh so, boy. My acrobatics is so good. Nine. So um, that. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry, not nine. Six. That was Ostinato's roll. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh boy. I think it was 18? No, 17. Uh, I am a 10. Oh my. 10 out of 10? Hey, yo. <laughs> um, okay, so that was. Can everyone give me their numbers again? 17. Uh, Six. 10. Okay, so then, yeah, it'll be Misha, Asinato, Chef. Okay, so Misha, where would you like to stop at first? Oh, and um, real quick, one 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 thing that like uh, I was discussing with Adam uh, about is that um, what was I gonna say? That uh, that um, Misha in particular, especially because she's just learned her Pokemon education is very perceptive, has noticed that like Roosevelt has like certain like unique ticks and uh, uh just slight differences between his Roosevelt and his Mew form, um. And uh, so far, Misha's the only one that has really noticed about that. Um, Do you want me to, to, to like, describe it further? 
Sure, yeah, you can or... do that. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, so Roosevelt, across both of his forms, has, uh, quite frankly, master rank focus, right? So theoretically, he, he, he should just, you know, be able to just not shiver at all in the cold, right? You saw that uh, in his two-cannon form, despite being... Uh, you know, ice being super effective against him because he's flying. Uh, he wasn't shivering. However, when he shifted into his Mew form, ice wasn't super effective, yet he did kind of shiver. It's almost like there are two different natures, despite being the base personality for these two um, forms. Like, the Mew didn't d didn't have to, like, keep up appearances, but, you know, the two kind of wanted to project strength, which is kind of odd. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Would you, uh, so Misha, would you like to press further on that? Ooh, I wouldn't even know how to press that. You could just talk about uh -huh. that or the fact that, oh yeah, it turns out this uh, shiny bird is actually Mew. We kind of glossed over that last session. I'm sure the audience is very confused since when was this guy, first of all, shiny, second of all, Mew? <laughs> hey weirdo, what's going on? <laughs> like, yeah, like, I know we had I'm more pressing like... matters, uh, aka we are fighting a level one hundred mana fee and it's level thirty underlings, but um you know <laughs> Yeah, uh... I guess like I kinda like just explains to everyone like that was basically new. Like this mythical Pokemon, mm, or like yeah. this we'll, we'll, ancient. We'll we'll say that you've like combed over like a couple like you glanced over some uh, like ancient text um, like a, 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 there a Pokemon history book t that uh, briefly mentioned Mew and you skimmed like a description talking about it. Yeah. However, oh. the, however, the Mew in the picture it was pink, not blue. Mm -hmm. Well, hold on a second. So when are you saying this? Are you saying this like in front of the village? Hmm. Ooh, oh, I'm, this is like Misha like thinking right now. Like this is like a hive. Okay. So like mm -hmm. he doesn't want to like reveal now. Mm -hmm. So okay. like this is like, now. I just want to say like if you start talking like in that sort of direction, um, Roosevelt will immediately just. Shh, just <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. You know, like with like the like the sort of knowing, like you know, knowing um, smile, uh, head head nod, like all right, how, you know, how about let's just let's just keep this between us, you know? I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I'm like this is like me, like Misha talking in her head right now, like okay. that was you, but like the you and pink. So mm. that must be was it a shiny you or something? This is all going out through her head right now, but she's not saying anything. She's like, girl is confused. <laughs> like you was right. in, like the thousand yard stare, but like she's talking like every. She is. Oh my god. Are yeah. you currently looking at Roosevelt, or, or or just like in like off in the distance or whatever? Like I'm almost like like she's almost like studying you. Like she knows what you are, but she <laughs> can't. Really I know what you are. I know what you are. Okay, okay. So, so in that case, he's gonna use, if I may, a little intuition mm -hmm. to, okay. to try to see, like, mm, you know, what, what, you know, what she thinking? What she thinking? Uh, so now both going. of you are studying each other. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> it's more, it's more like as you're studying him, and and he just glances your direction. He's like, ah. Uh, Let's yeah, I know it's yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah, absolutely. It. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, you're able to tell that she, uh, she's like connecting some dots on on like the stuff with the Mew because like, from what you could tell with Chef and Ostinato, they were not familiar with any of the like legends in regards to Mew. However, Misha seems like she's like, like with for like a better term, I know what you are. <laughs> Yeah, Chef ain't that smart. <laughs> and smart. He sort of gives a slight chuckle and just, you know, sl like, uh, um, lightly shakes his head and then turns to do whatever next activity would happen after this moment. Well, I mean, um... Is that all Misha's doing? Yeah. 
Well, so your your activity is staring at Ostinato, studying him. Yeah, no, anyone. staring at Roosevelt. Uh -huh. Right, I got the name wrong. Eh. To be fair, um, uh, what was I saying? To be fair, um, Roosevelt, you're you like at first you're like you're just like oh hey this 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 kid's like uh sort likely uh connecting some dots, but then you start thinking about this kid in particular. And now you notice how multiple times Misha was turning into a different evolution and then reverting back repeatedly throughout that fight against the Manaphy and Fion. So you're both like, what? You both are literally like essentially thinking the same thing. It's like, what's up with this? What's up with this stranger? Um, so after that thought, he kind of turns back to Misha. Um, his meets her eyes, starts doing like the same sort of like facial expressions and jest. Just looks her up and up and down, and just gives a little chuckle and starts looking away again. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't decide to press further or anything like that. He doesn't care. Okay. He's already made it up in his mind. He's like, hmm, I can, I can tell these guys are up to something great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can tell the battles will be legendary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so he's like, eh, you know, I mean, if it could happen to me, it can happen to anybody. I mean, yeah. Um, and I guess I might as well just give like a little bit of lore insight for our audience that is probably still confused. Ruse Actually, wait, Adam, are you okay if I do a little lore dump quick? Um... This is kind of uh, why I, I, I sort of, like, allowed this conversation, because um, I wanted to see if you wanted to naturally reveal that to Misha, or if you wanted me to say it out of character. You could just leave us puzzled. You know what? I feel like I feel like that'd be funny. Okay. I feel like that'd be funny. All just right. All right. So, yeah. What the heck is happening? Exactly. All and right. So, maybe, not even... So maybe if yeah. I'm on again in the future, then, yeah. you know, a bit more of a lower dump. <gasps> mm-hmm. Yeah, but for if, now... Big if, okay, if, Jacob. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright. But for now, yeah, you guys get nothing! <laughs> All right. Nothing! Good day, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, um... In the meantime... So, that so, would be Austin Otto, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah, Misha, you're just, like, thinking of all these things. <laughs> just, you're, you definitely know that this guy's got... This guy's definitely got, um like a lot of things going on you're just not sure what but like you don't really know how to press it further so you decide to let it go for the most part um mm -hmm. uh meanwhile uh next person is ostinato what would you like to do I know I um, started um, learning Super Fang last time, and I so I was wondering if I could continue working on that, and or see if there are any Poke Edge opportunities here while I'm still here. Uh, okay, so one sec. But honestly, I don't have a specific Poke Edge in mind, so really focusing on I guess like finishing learning Super Fang. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. So yeah, you can totally. Um... Definitely, you can go back to the dojo and basically just do another focus check to try to get that super fang. Um, no, and... we can just uh, imagination, I mean, like uh, theater of the mind. It yeah, pretty much, of, pretty much. Like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, right, uh, yeah well, yeah, we'll just say that check. we'll just say that you're there right now. In fact, actually, um, uh, one second. So, screw it. Why not? We'll just go into the arena. There you go. Oh. Oh, I'm nice. just on Austin on his head again. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Um, Fate said it must be so. Pretty much. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but yeah. I rolled a um, decent focus check. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, cool. so I just learn it. Yeah, you're you're after uh, enough uh, time, uh, especially since this is not your first attempt now trying to practice this. You've been able to get a really mm -hmm. good. Um, really good rhythm with it and uh the uh both avalug look at you please is like very well uh very good work young one and congratulations awesome. you have now learned super fang roosevelt is just watching off in the corner 
<laughs> I did not see that. I did not see that. That is funny. That is funny. Uh. All right, and then um, so yeah, well, is that all you wanted to do, Asanato? Um, are there any particular like um places you think I might be able to do a specific Poke Edge or? Cause to be honest, I'll I don't have one in mind. Like so with... if there's like a specific mm -hmm. one you think might work around here, not really, cause like okay, and yeah. also like with Poke Edges, I like those are just things that like you sort of like innately just. You don't know. I don't really have much of an idea. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. They grow so fast. <laughs> yes, yes they do. But, um, yeah, that's not like... I, I, I don't really have anything in mind. Especially because you haven't really, like, suggested anything. So, mm -hmm. um, I don't really have anything... For, for that in mind if you like want to look into it ask like the these two are all about like improving your battle skills and things like that um mm -hmm. so if anyone would know it likely would be them uh so if there's mm -hmm. anything in particular you have in mind then feel free to um ask them yeah i don't think i have anything in particular right now i might check the next uh place we go to um mm -hmm. i think yeah i'm happy learning uh super fang okay all right and so while you're learning that, um, let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, yes. <claps> Chef, what'd you want to do? Um, could we go back to the other map? Because I also wanted to talk to Roosevelt. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> would you, um, would you like to, uh, try, would you, do you just want to have this talk, like, out in the open, like w while you're with Misha or something like that, or are um, you thinking of like waiting and doing this like maybe uh, one on one? The thing is, Misha's keeping an eye on Roosevelt, so I don't think I could really do a um one on one. Well, I mean, so... are you, uh, Misha? Are you doing that? Are you just like gonna be like following him the whole time? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. All right. Well, I mean, um, Chef... Uh, so, I guess, destroyed. in terms of the order of operations, Misha was staring at Roosevelt, Ostinato essentially got bored and went back to the Poke Edge, where I was riding on Ostinato. We'll just and say I that that... <laughs> Chef is getting... Chef's getting worried about something, and leaves Ostinato to... for Ostinato to do that training, while I head back over here where Roosevelt is. Yeah, sure, we can do that. <laughs> We'll say so, that's how it went. <laughs> so do you also just start, like, staring at, your, at Roosevelt, like, mouth slightly agape, you just kind of... <laughs> well, apparently do, my character is facing the other direction, but, um... How do I... How do I approach him? How do I... I can fix it. I'm just going... Hey! Um... So about what you said before... Um, Sir Roosevelt was looking away. As soon as you started speaking, his eyes just snapped to you. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, um, oh, little one. How you doing? Hi. Um, so you said something before about I needed to get something checked out? Not, not mm. that I'm too concerned about this, but, um... Yeah, um where would you know, one get that checked out? You know, I, uh... Maybe I'm not in the correct sort of uh, way to speak to you about this right now. Um, Are you hold on about a second. How about how about how about we sort of move to the yeah? How about we sort of okay. move to the side? I guess we could go over to like um. You guys <sighs> could uh, you guys could like we take could... a walk to like near the mountains. Sure. We take a walk near a the nice, <laughs> A nice long stroll. Um, honestly, we'll, we can okay. just do theater of the mind. I don't have really a layout ready. I could... Sure. Yeah, but no. <laughs> uh, For well, simply... Okay, sake. you know what? How about... How about you, like, zoom into a... Excuse okay, me. Right. Zoom into a part of this map, and we're just there. We can and then have... simulate we a, a private here. talk. Yeah, we can just do... The... Oh, that works too. There we go. All right, and then there we go. 
we just go, the camera zooms in as you, as Chef and Roosevelt, uh, step aside for, for a bit. Um, so, <laughs> obviously this is sort of, um, how do you say, this is away from people. So what he's going to do is he's going to transform. Okay. Oh. First of all, he's going to he's, he's going to get. It's more on your level. Let you know what? La, Roos uh, Roosevelt, finger. real quick. Make me a stealth check for that. Stealth check? Wait, what? For transforming like that. We walked into the mountains, I'm assuming, so that he didn't have to... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. If, if, if we're still going with that, then yeah, never mind. Never mind. Continue. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Like, we're not, like, stepping to the side. Like, this is, like, mm. in, you know, like, <clears throat> complete confidence. Yeah, like, yeah, away yeah. From people. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So he sort of transforms, and he gets close to you, and he says, So, I don't want to overwhelm you right now, but I've, and, and also I, I, I don't exactly know your story, before I didn't know Slim's story either, but um, I've had a friend, he, he went through the same sort of well, you know, he had something happen to him, where uh, there was you're, a being. Wait, did your friend also eat a ghost's finger? That is. <laughs> hmm. So that's how you obtain such a such a. You know, I I've, I've never brought it up with my friend, so I'm not exactly sure how he got his condition. But I want you to know that if your condition's anything like that of my friend. Just fight it as hard as you can. And eventually you may be able to push it away. I believe you can do it. I know you can. And I know now you seem like a smart kid. I know now that... Listen, I've been venturing more, you know, longer than you've been alive. You... You seem like the type of guy to listen. So I hope that no matter what you do, you don't give in to it. Okay, got it? It may promise you power. It may promise you anything else. Doesn't matter. You must try, try, try your best. Is that clear? Do you understand me? Chef, thanks for a moment. He's hearing the words, don't give in, it's offering power. I just want to help it. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh, I, I feel so bad for it. <laughs> hmm. So I'm like, but it, it seems hurt. <laughs> can I, can I sort I'm of you, I'm sense with totally the aura innocent. reading? Can I sense with, like, the aura reading that he's considering helping this probably evil, you know, so, uh, uh, sort of... Make me a perception check on that. Perception check? Sure. Okay. All right. It's a What'd bit, I get? It's oh, a bit funky. It All right. So, you're, um, you get two aura... I'll, I'll say that, like, you get, like, a little bit of a bonus since this is familiar territory... You get, um, you feel two auras from Chef. You feel, you can feel the aura of his soul, and you can, you feel just pure innocence. And, uh, a, a, um, a young boy who's trying to do well and trying to fit in, uh, with his place in the world and trying to, he genuinely is trying to do good. But you can feel like very faintly another aura of dark and twisted corruption just like a small bit latching on to chef's aura and you can sense that that is the entity that is essentially um living in chef's uh soul rent free <laughs> could i could i sense the same thing from slim Pro back when he was afflicted with it on a much larger scale, 
You can th this is familiar, but not as intense because like what happened with, with with Slim in your adventure was a much much in more insane thing. You can definitely tell that this that this entity, whatever it is, has existed for a long time, but nowhere near as close as with the for lack of a better term, demon living in Slim's soul. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I'm just giving oh, no, you the, 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 just these eyes. I'm like, what? This, Completely clueless. This is. Unfortunately, this is a bit greater than you. Or perhaps it may grow to be that. Perhaps you might be able to fend it off. But I, I just heed to this grim warning, please. Perhaps after a bit more adventuring, you may go out of your naivete. I hope for your sake you do. I really do. And with that, he suddenly transforms back into Big Roosevelt, and he's like, whoa. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, we should get back to them. Do, 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 and he starts waddling away. <laughs> <laughs> As of nothing right, happened. Going by, by how Chef works, so the, 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 the thing that he's latching onto in that conversation was, I hope you grow out of your naivete. <laughs> All right, so, um, okay, so then I guess we're, uh, pretty much done here for the most part, everyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So in that case, are we, are we ready to set off? Are we, are we ready to wrap things up in, in the ice caps? Yeah. For the time being? Okay, well, in that Jeff, case. Jeff definitely has some questions to ask Black Fog at a later point. Uh-huh, okay, okay. But yeah, so, um, so yeah, everyone sort of returns to this, pl to the plaza once again, and, um, uh, everyone, like, Asnado, as this is happening, like, you're returning from the, uh, from, uh, from training, and, uh, you you feel like you're ready to just head out, and, um, as you guys are congregating, who approaches but Saber, and he uh, uh -huh. meets up with all of you. Is like, uh, ah, uh, the Dinan Dashers, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, I must say, uh, I must give you all thanks for bringing for uh, dealing with those uh, da for those dangerous Pokemon out in the caves. Um, we are currently uh, have been apprehending them, and we've been. Doing a little bit of investigation, they all seem to be part of one central group, as they all carry some sort of um, some sort of clothing with this iconography. And he pulls out a bandana with that same insignia that you've seen with all the cultists that you guys have encountered. Tell me, mm. have you seen this symbol before? I have. I'm gonna be honest. I completely spaced out there. What's the symbol? <laughs> The symbol. Well, I'm glad you. We'll asked. say Chef was very distracted by the conversation he just had. <laughs> All right, the symbol. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've really given. I've sort of just implied what it was, but um, let me. Is this like the symbol that the Goldengo used? Uh, mm -hmm. no, it was not. It is. One sec. Uh. Let me just put in a little thing. Actually, wait, did I? Don't I? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, yeah, so I have not shown this to you guys. This is what the icon is. 